Today we're going to discuss find the sum of the following infinite series 2 over 1 plus 4 over 9 plus 10 over 81 plus 28 over 729 plus so on. Don't forget the sums since this is not a geometric series nor arithmetic series we cannot find the r and the difference if we take this series as a whole for each term so what we do is we separate the term into the nominator the top one and the denominator the down one so we keep the 2 as 2 over 1 as 2 now we do operation with the rest of this if you see from the top one or 10 28 we write at the top and we can get the n term which is 3n plus 1 and the down part 9 to 81 to what, 729 we can get the n term which is 9 to the power of n 9 to the power of n so the top one has this n term and the bottom one has this n term now what we do next is combine the top and bottom as the n term of this whole sequence 3 to the power of n plus 1 over 9 to the power of n and we simplify 9 we convert to 3 squared and then I separate the denominator to each 3 to the power of 2n to each then simplify this work so this one will be 3n minus 2n plus 1 over 3 to the power of 2n and n minus 2n is 1 over 3n plus 1 over 3 to the power of 2n. Now this is our n terms. Let's prove that our formula is correct for n equals to 1. 1 over 3 1 plus 1 over 3 2 times 1. So it's 1 over 3 plus 1 over 9. So it becomes this one becomes 3 over 9 plus 1 over 9. So our first term is 4 over 9. So correct since our first term is 4 over 9. Now our second term should be 10 over 81. 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 3 2. Then 1 over 9 plus 1 over 81. So this will be 1 over 9 will be 9 over 81. Plus 1 over 81, it becomes 10 over 81. So this is correct term for our sequence because this is 10 over 81. Now how do we get the sum or the total? To get the sum of the total of this series, we can separate this one to count the sum of each. So this. And this we count differently. So for 1 over 3 to the power of n, unit 1 is 1 over 3 to the power of 1 is 1 over 3, and the r, the r is of course 1 over 3 and as we count the sum of the unit is unit 1 over 1 minus r so it's equal to 1 over 3 over 1 minus 1 over 3 so we get 1 over 3 over 2 over 3 so we get 2 then for this one 1 over 3 to the power of 2 and we have to count the sum 1 over 3 to the power of 2n. So unit 1 will be 1 over 3 to the power of 2 times 1. So 1 over 9. And the r will be 1 over 9.
So we count the total of all. We have kept two here in the beginning in here as we don't include in the calculation of the n term, the two. We start the calculation from here and we get the formula of n term, which is this one and this one. And we count the total of the n term separately. So this is one over three to the power of n. So we manipulate this into a geometric series with the a is 1 over 3 and r is 1 over 3. We found the sum of the infinite series which is 1 over 2 and for this part for this part is also a geometric series with unit 1 is 1 over 9 and the r is 1 over 9. So we can count the sum of the infinite series which is 1 over 8 and we sum up all this one 1 over 8, 1 over 2 and also two that we keep in the beginning here is two because we don't include the sum down. So the total will be two plus one over eight plus one over two. So it will be twenty one over eight. And this will be since this is sixteen over eight. This is 4 over 8, and this is 1 over 8, so all together is 21 over 8, and this will be 8 u 5 over 8. Well, this is the final answer. So the sum of our infinite series of this sequence, which at first we thought that it's impossible to count, is 2, 5 over 8. If there's any question, please feel free to write in the comment section, which will reply to you. The idea is, since this is not as a whole, for it, from one term to another term, we cannot find the ratio, nor we can find the difference, so we break this up. Keep the two, we break this up into top and bottom number, so we can get the formula for the n term. And we combine them because this is a fraction. We combine them up and down and we simplify. And we can break into two terms in here, which each term can be considered as geometric series. So we can find the sum, the infinite sum. Then the infinite sum, it is this one, half, the first part, this part, and the second part is 1 over 8, 1 over 8, after we count. Then we total up 1 over 2 and 1 over 8, and the 2 that we keep in front here, so we get 2, 5 over 8. This is the 2 that we split at first. If there's any questions, then just email us or write in the comment section. So there's 2. over 8 I'll answer if you need PDF copy of that question please feel free to email us or if you're interested to find with us subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be notified with our new updates covering all the questions past paper and as well as all other interesting topics. bye bye and God bless you